how to create a shape transition in Premiere Pro. To add a transition to these two clips, create an adjustment layer here, press OK and drag the adjustment layer onto the timeline above the clips and we'll make this adjustment layer 10 frames in length. To do this, take your playhead to the center of the two clips where the cut is, then press shift and the left arrow once, which will take you five frames to the left. Extend the adjustment layer to that point, then shift and the right arrow key twice, which will take you 10 frames to the right. Use control and K to cut the adjustment layer and there's our 10 frames. Now move up to effects and search for transform. Drag the transform effect onto the adjustment layer, then move to effect controls. And if you don't have effect controls, go to window and then select effect controls. Move the play here to the beginning of the adjustment layer and under transform, hit the stopwatch on position and scale. Then move along two frames by pressing the right arrow key twice. Let's increase the scale and move the image to the left. Now let's press the right arrow key twice to move along two keyframes and increase the scale even more, but move it this time to the right. Maybe down a touch just to get his face in. And this time let's go three keyframes to the right as we cut across to the next clip. Here we'll bring the scale down, but not all the way and move the image over to the left side. Now move the play here to the end of the clip. We're just going to extend the adjustment layer so we can see the last keyframe. Press the reset button on scale and position to bring the footage back to its original position. I think I'll just spread these keyframes. And group the furthest left keyframes, right click, go to temporal interpolation and down to ease out. Do the same for the last keyframes, but this time choose ease in. To add the magic on this effect, untick use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 175. Okay, that's looking good, but just to finish it with some funk, I find that adding some VHS style bloom to the effect gives it that little bit extra. Go to effects, Search for VR Digital Glitch, drag that to the adjustment layer, go to Effect Controls, under VR Digital Glitch, open up the distortion, set the geometry distortion to zero, the distortion complexity to zero, I think it goes to one, doesn't go to zero, and the distortion rate to zero too. Then with the playhead at the beginning of the adjustment layer, hit the stopwatch on color distortion and set that to zero. Then press shift and the right arrow key once to move to the middle of the adjustment layer, set that to 100. You can see a subtle color bloom there. Press shift and the right arrow key again to move to the end of the adjustment layer and hit the reset button to create the last keyframe. Let's play that back. Hope that helped. See ya.